to bring Cornwallis and the British Army so far from their supply bases that they can never recover their strength. As the Redcoats grow weaker, Green strengthens his army by recruiting Patriot militia fighters throughout the Carolinas. At Guilford Courthouse, North Carolina, Green decides the time is finally right for a major showdown, so he stops running and turns to fight. If his army is destroyed, the South is lost. So he throws everything he's got at the exhausted Redcoats. Including Peter Francisco. This is the moment that cements Peter Francisco into legend. He's on horseback, he's galloping forward. Wave after wave of British are coming at him. He's hacking these guys. In one charge, Francisco kills 11 Redcoats. Then, suddenly, Francisco's luck runs out. It seemed like he was doomed when a British soldier with a bayonet pinned his leg to that of his horse, virtually incapacitating him. But then he helped the soldier withdraw the bayonet and then killed him with his sword and made a miraculous escape. Francisco's victims are among the 530 Redcoats killed and wounded at Guilford Courthouse. Twice what the Americans suffer. Green withdraws to minimize his casualties, so the battle is another one of his tactical defeats. But the battered British are in no mood to celebrate. When news of the so-called victory at Guilford Courthouse reaches England, one statesman declares, another such victory will destroy the British Army. Peter Francisco's wounds are treated, and he lives to fight another day. Thanks in part to the guts and skill of this giant of a patriot, the Americans have finally slammed the brakes on the British advance in the South. The Redcoats march north to Virginia to regroup, where the end game of the six-year revolution will finally unfold. Soon, at an obscure village called Yorktown, a shocking reversal will stun the most powerful empire on Earth. Da 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 da! Hey, Brooke, get the lights. Okay, all that makes sense to you? All right, we will, if we can kind of stay, keep ourselves under control here, visit quietly, I will not press you to take more notes. I'll wait for those people to get back, and we'll go from there.